What's up, folks? Don't you just love getting on fucking Facebook and seeing all these bitches complaining about their man, pissing and moaning about their man, posting those little bullshit pictures, posting them little postcards, those little e-cards, little man-bashing fucking comments they like to make, always wanting to make little suggestive comments about what a dumbass their man is, or how he's such a fucking boring asshole, he's always tired, he never wants to do anything. He's always tired. He just wants to come home and sleep on the couch. First of all, bitch, you're lucky you even got a fucking man. That's what fucking slays me. Facebook fucking sucks. I mean, Facebook is a relationship killer. I mean, you gotta go by and like all their bitch-ass comments. You gotta go by and fucking play this little fucking Facebook game with them. I don't play that fucking bullshit. Didn't you see my Facebook post? How come you didn't like my Facebook post? Because I saw like five other guys that liked your fucking Facebook post. Or they'll have that guy that likes every fucking thing and then suddenly he'll stop. And it's not because he's not communicating with your fucking woman behind your fucking back. As they just started doing PMs instead of him being so obvious. Because you finally said something about it after a fucking month and a half of this shit. These fucking Facebook complainers. And what really gets me is you stay at home mothers. You stay-at-home complainers. You fucking deadbeat motherfuckers. You got a fucking man who goes to fucking work, enables you to live stress-free. You think, oh, I'm, my life is busy. Being a stay-at-home mother is a hard job. It's a full-time job. Back in the day, 30, 40 fucking years ago, it was a full-time job. But most stay-at-home mothers, what do they do? As soon as her husband gets home, she's off the clock. I've been dealing with these kids all day. It's your turn. So not only did he have to get up at the butt crack of dawn, go to work, deal with the micromanaging boss, deal with his fucking cutthroat co-workers, come home tired as a motherfucker, beat, dealing with the fucking traffic on the way home. Now he's got to come home to your fucking trifling ass. You're so fucking tired. Why? Because you were busy all day talking to some other dude online behind his fucking back. So here you are, no makeup on, hadn't even taken a fucking shower, wearing sweatpants and a grimy ass t-shirt with a couple holes in it, looking like ass, then you got making that bitch noise, which guys fucking hate, we hate the bitch noise, and there you are with an onslaught of complaints. I mean, just as miserable as a motherfucker. That's why I say you're lucky to even have a fucking man. I see this all the time. Women fight tooth and nail to find a relationship. I just wish I could find someone. I wish I could find me a good man. But you come into the relationship with a whole list of expectations, unrealistic expectations for this motherfucker. He's not a robot. He's not a fucking mind reader. He's fucking human. And guess what, bitches? Guys get sick of your fucking neurotic bullshit, too. Guys get real tired of hearing, I love you, out of your mouth, and yet hearing in the other ear all the complaints you've been blowing about him all over fucking town, all over Facebook, to his kids, to his friends, bad-mouthing the motherfucking shit out of him, like he's just not being responsive to your bullshit, like your man doesn't know, like your man hasn't clued into the fact that you've been talking to somebody else behind his fucking back, and in all likelihood you're fucking him too. He just doesn't have enough evidence at this point to drop a fucking hammer on your trifling ass, bitch. You just need to stop pretending that life handed you a raw deal. Or that the guy you're with is fucking your life off. Life is what you make of it, simple bitches. So if you're not happy with the man you're with, go ahead, have yourself a game plan, and get the fuck on with your life. And allow that motherfucker to get the fuck on with his. Staying in a rat bastard relationship just to be miserable and sneak around and fuck somebody over, that's not a fucking life. You're wasting your journey and his, bitch. And whether or not he's admitting it out loud to your face, bitch, he's just as miserable as you are. I fucking promise you that. Especially you fucking desperate housewives. That's what I call stay-at-home moms. That's what they become, desperate housewives. Here's this guy, supposed to go to fucking work all day, bust his fucking ass, come home, and take over since you've had such a hard day with the kids. Take over, let you lay ass around, he can go ahead and cook you dinner, he can go fire up the grill, make you fucking dinner, 
do the fucking cleanup. Oh, yeah. And then had the energy to take you out for some drinks or some fucking pie or some bullshit like that. And for you guys in rat bastard relationships, how many times have you had to do this? Sit at home and play that fucking game with this goofy, trifling, cheap fucking bitch. And you know for a fact she's fucking cheating. You just can't fucking prove it at this point. And she's always ragging your fucking shit to no end. And then y'all go out and do a social function and suddenly she's hanging on your arm... You know, trying to make this big presentation for all her friends and onlookers. That everything's fine and well at y'all's house. Y'all are happy. Ain't that a bunch of fucking bullshit? But what they don't see is a bitch complaining all the fucking way home in a car. Haven't you ever just pulled up at a stoplight and just wanted to jump out of the car and run like hell? Next time you're going through your home feed, folks. And see some bitch that's on there spewing her fucking bullshit trying to absorb sympathy for whoever will listen. What happened? What happened? Realize, 95% of her fucking trauma, 95% of her fucking bullshit, she brought on her fucking self. As far as you fucking Facebook complainers, you goofy bitches that got a fucking man at home, somebody that's putting up with your fucking bullshit, somebody who's paying his fucking rent, you should be thankful you got a fucking man. Show a little bit of appreciation. You know how you do that? Quit talking shit about the motherfucker. And quit fucking around on him, you goofy bitch. Because you see, bitches, when that relationship's over, and he's long gone, and you see that once again he's out there enjoying his fucking life without you, only then will you realize what you fucking had.